Hi everyone! I know a lot of you already know about genetically modified foods, but there's a lot of people who don't. And so this video is to inform everyone about genetically modified foods and to help you make better food choices. Genetically modified foods, also known as genetically engineered foods, are foods that are altered at a molecular level in ways that could not happen naturally. They take DNA molecules from different sources, even different species, and combine them to make one molecule to create a new set of genes. They take the genes of a flounder fish because the fish can withstand tremendously cold temperatures, and they cross that gene with a tomato seed to grow tomatoes that can withstand freezing temperatures. The problem is they're messing with the plants and the animals and causing problems with the ecosystem that could potentially become irreversible. They have the potential of introducing new toxins and allergens into our food system and the environment. As of now, there are no mandatory human clinical trials on the effects of genetically modified foods. And there have been no epidemiological studies of the possible impacts of consuming genetically modified crops on health. The big issue I have is that they're creating, growing, and distributing this food without informing the public. And since they've been doing this since 1996, that means that I was consuming this food for a very long time and never even knew it. 60 to 70 percent of processed foods inside your grocery store contain genetically modified foods. Soy, corn, Canola oil and cotton are the biggest sources of genetically modified foods. Fast food locations are especially high in genetically modified foods, not only from the grains used in the buns of hamburgers, but also the high fructose corn syrup made from genetically modified corn that's used in all of the sauces and dressings, plus the canola oil used to fry the foods. And then you have the animal product, which all of the animals were fed genetically modified corn and soy. Instead of roaming free and grazing grass in fields like they're naturally made to do, they're fed genetically modified corn and soy to bulk them up. And so when you eat an animal source at these places, you're eating animals that consumed genetically modified foods. That's why I love the high carb raw vegan diet because I know exactly what's in my food. I know exactly what I'm eating and where it came from. So the interesting thing about creating genetically modified foods. The way that they do it is they use bacteria and viruses to invade the cell walls. That's how they get the genes to cross. Scientists have now created seeds that actually create their own pesticide. The people at Monsanto found a bacteria in the soil that is actually highly resistant to their Roundup Ready herbicide. They use this bacteria to make the plant really, really strong to withstand an abundance of this herbicide. So they can spray this herbicide on the plants all day long and the plant won't die from all of these chemicals. 
but yet then they feed this plant that is overloaded with herbicide to the public. Supposedly the purpose of this is so that they can increase crop yields and end world hunger. However, so far, it's not working. But frankly, that doesn't matter to them because it's really not about you and me and what's right for the earth and the planet and the people. It's all about money. It's all about money and power and having control over the food supply. Over 40 countries have already said that they want nothing to do with genetically modified foods or they insist that they are labeled. And there are many countries that already have labels on genetically modified foods. However, here in the U.S., there are no labels. They've been feeding this food to us for a very long time and they don't tell anyone about it. That's why it's so important to make sure that everything that you buy is organic and to make sure that you know exactly what's in your food, what you're buying, where it comes from, and what's in it. What are the ingredients in it? It's a really good idea to avoid shopping in the center aisles of the grocery store because most of those processed and packaged foods contain genetically modified foods, unless they're labeled as 100% organic or you know that specific company doesn't use genetically modified foods. Shop in the produce section at the grocery store. Shop at your local farmers markets or shop at your local farms. Unfortunately, we don't know the full implications of consuming genetically modified foods. Scientists have recently discovered the insecticide of genetically engineered corn in the bloodstream and the umbilical cord bloodstream of pregnant women. According to what I've read, these companies are actually hiding the results of the tests that they've done on genetically modified foods because they don't look good. The tests are actually coming back with seriously negative results. And so they're hiding that. They're not letting these tests become available to the public because it would absolutely destroy everything that they're working for. And yet they keep pushing these foods through and forcing people to eat them. When you look at who's running the government right now, there are congressmen, senators, representatives, lawyers, attorneys, White House staff. Many of these people worked for Monsanto for a very long period of time and now they're running the government. Now they're in the government, they're passing laws and approving these foods. We all have a right to know what's in our food. And the only way to make this happen is to speak up and let your voice be heard. When you have an opportunity to sign a petition to label GMO foods, please take a moment and sign the petition. There are lots of people right now trying to get signatures to get this on a ballot so that GMO foods will be labeled, so that we'll know when we're shopping in a grocery store, when you're buying something anywhere, you'll know whether or not it contains GMO foods, and we have that right. We should know. 
It's so important to let the government know, let your state representatives know, that you want these foods labeled. And even better, don't buy these foods. Don't buy these highly processed foods that send a message to the government and to the world that you're okay with eating genetically modified foods. You're essentially voting with your dollars. And what you spend your money on, you're saying, I approve this. It's really important to avoid buying these products and let these companies know that you're not interested in genetically modified foods. You're not interested in being their science experiment. You're not interested in filling their pockets with money and giving them power over your food. Not only are these practices affecting plants, the animals, the environment, but they're also affecting organic crops because of cross-pollination. Some countries don't even allow genetically modified foods to enter their country. They actually burn them because they don't want any part of them. I'd like to read this part to you about genetically modified foods supposedly helping world hunger. And this is from the JustLabelIt.org website. The PR machines from the biotech industry are performing far better than the actual results of the crops. According to Failure to Yield, a report by the Union of Concerned Scientists, despite 20 years of research and 13 years of commercialization, genetic engineering has failed to significantly increase U.S. crop yields. Alternatives such as conventional breeding and modern non-GE breeding methods that use improved understanding of crop biology as well as newer production methods have demonstrated that collectively they are capable of increasing crop yields far more than GE has yet managed to do. However, public funding for conventional breeding has not kept up with the need for improved crops as resources have been channeled toward GE research and development. Globally, a series of recent reports reveal that non-GMO, low-input, sustainable farming practices can alleviate hunger, reduce dependency on fossil fuels and chemicals, use resources efficiently, and create healthier communities. If we just grow the food the way nature intended it to be grown, we'd have plenty of food for everyone. If everyone went vegan, we wouldn't have to breed animals for food, and we could use that land to grow an abundance of amazing crops and fruit trees. And there would be more than enough food to go around. Personally, I wish that we could just get rid of genetically engineered crops altogether. It just feels like one big science experiment waiting to go wrong. Unfortunately, the people creating these foods just don't have our best interest in mind. It's all about money and profit and power for them. JustLabelIt.org says that while there are some genetically engineered foods in the produce bins, the majority of it is in processed foods. 60 to 70 percent of processed foods contain genetically modified organisms. And the majority of the livestock consumed by Americans also contain genetically modified foods because that's what they're fed. Nearly 90% of corn, 94% of soy, and 90% of cottonseed grown in the U.S. are from genetically engineered seeds. These ingredients are most often found in packaged foods like cereals, crackers, cookies, chips, high fructose corn syrup sweetened soda, frozen meals, and more. The best options if you are looking to avoid genetically engineered foods are to buy USDA certified organic 
as the USDA organic standards prohibit the use of GMOs. Look for non-GMO project verified non-GMO foods. Buy unprocessed foods such as fruits and vegetables as few whole foods are genetically engineered. That's why I love this diet of fresh, living, whole, unprocessed fruits and vegetables because you know exactly what you're eating, you know where it's coming from. However, there still is a concern because these genetically modified foods have the ability to cross-pollinate into the organic crops. Their seeds have the ability to be blown over into the organic fields. Monsanto is actually trying to sue organic farmers for this specific situation. And it's not even the organic farmer's fault, but because, the, because Monsanto's seeds are patented, they're trying to accuse the organic farmers of using their seed because it's blowing from the genetically modified fields into the organic fields. And it's really unfair to the organic farmers. Now this video is not intended to scare anyone or to create fear. This video is all about creating awareness and letting you know that together with our voices and our buying habits, we can make a difference. Thank you so much for watching this video and educating yourselves. Thank you for checking out the links provided in the information box to become more aware about genetically modified foods and to educate yourself on the entire process. Thank you so much for signing the petitions to label genetically modified foods and voting against them, letting your voices be heard and making a difference.